So today I'm going to be doing my like go-to full face makeup look. I've already done my eyebrows and um, I've just filmed an eyebrow routine video um, but I will link my eyebrow routine in the description. So I'm keeping this sleeve up for foundation reasons because I put my foundation on this hand. So I'm going to start off with the Kik Kiko Unlimited foundation which has SPF 15 and it's in warm beige 15. Put it a little bit on the edge of my hand. Next I'm going to be getting this brush. It's the Morph MV5 and I just dip it in a little bit. And just kind of blend it on. I always start off on the right hand side of my face um, and I always start on my cheek area and like work up under my eye area a little bit and work down to the edge of my face. And then dip it in again and then just tuck my hair back a little bit <laughs> and then I work on the other side of my face starting on my cheek, work down a little bit, work under my eye just in circular motions and I go to like the edge of my chin as well. Now I'm going to blend over my chin a little bit and the edges of my mouth and just go on my nose. Dip in again, just go over my chin, just side to side, up and down, edges of my mouth, over my top lip edge of my nose, end of my nose as well, and uh, just around that general area. I'm going to put a little bit more on, just a little bit. Go over the rest of my nose completely, just go all over my nose and into my cheeks, and just go in between my eyebrows, dip, and then I just start on the right side of my forehead just like blending it in and then I work down to my temple a little bit <laughs> trying not to get it in my hair and I'd like fluff it down to my temple and like work in circular motions on my head forehead on the right side and then dip it in again and work on the left side of my forehead and fluff down onto my temple I should get an outfit like a bit more. Probably gone a bit much, but a bit more. And just work down the side of this temple a little bit as it hasn't got as much as I want it to, and it's not quite matching the other temple. And then I'll just fluff over that one a little bit. Dip it again. And then just work over my forehead a little bit more. under my eyes a little bit and then what I've got left on my hand what I've got left on my hand and what I've got left on my brush just go over my eyelids a little bit just like a smidge I guess it's like a base for my eyeshadow now I'm gonna get the makeup gallery smoothly does it pressed powder in the colour natural beige 2 morph mb1 powder brush and i just swirl it in there and swirl it over my face i always start on my cheek area and then work to my chin and then same on the left side over my cheek and into my chin a little bit and then upper lip sides of my mouth and then over my nose under my eyes and then in between my eyebrows and then on my forehead and temples and then my other side of my forehead and temple and then just go along the edge of my chin edge of my jaw and chin and then I'm gonna go in with the revolution um, 
blush and highlighter palette and then I'm going to get the Morph MV4 um, blush and highlighter blush blush and highlighter brush. Today I'm going to go with this highlighter on the end. It's kind of like a pinky colour but it comes out like silvery on your cheeks. I, tend, I don't tend to use blush very much, like I haven't used blush in a long time. I'm going to swirl it around, tap it off a little bit and angle it a bit and sort of angle it like that and put it flat on my cheek and then just blend it on and dab it back in and then rub it on my cheek and get it like that and kind of brush it in a little bit swirl it in and then angle it and blend it on my cheekbone dab it in blend it on and then turn it and brush it in and just check it just make sure it's somewhat even and goes well together. Next, I'm going to go in with the Revolution Redemption Palette Iconic One. I'm going to get my Studio Flat Eyeshadow Brush. Then I'm going to go with the lightest shimmery colour on the end. And just get the side of my brush and kind of just brush it through and tap it off. And then just kind of like stroke it along my eyelid, going from left to right. And then a little bit more. And then stroke it along my eyelid, left to right. And then a little bit more. And just kind of drag it down, like down along my eyelid. Um, up into the crease a little bit. And then I get some more. And go to my other eyelid. And just like stroke it along my eyelid, left to right. No, I stroke it along my eyelid, right to left. A little bit more. Right to left. A little bit more. And just drag it down my eyelid, right to left, left to right and up into the crease a little bit, like slightly. And then I just get the Morph MB18 crease like blending brush. And then I get the darker like brownie, sh like brown shimmer shade, like the fourth colour along. Kind of rub my brush up and down in it, and then tap it off, and then blend it into the crease, carefully, like I softly, I softly blend it into the crease and slightly on the end of my eyelid, just kind of dab it on the edge, on the outer V of my eyelid. Then some more, pick up some more and I go onto my other crease and just blend it softly. And just on the outer V of my eyelid, just dab it on on the edge of my eyelid. I just like check it out a little bit. And then I get my Primark angled blending brush and sort of softly go over my eyelid. Ever so slightly softly. And just dab my eyelid a little bit as well. Now I'm just gonna get my makeup gallery um, eyeliner pencil. I would have put this on before my eyeshadow, but I actually forgot. <laughs> um, but I just kind of lift my eyelid up a little bit and put it on my tight line slash my upper lash line. I do the same to the other.
Next is my Kiko mascara. It's the Kiko Volume Attraction mascara. I like kind of like tilt my head back a bit and lift up my eyebrows a bit, and then flip it on. I like roll it on as well. Like I like twist my hand, like twist the brush with my eyelashes. Johnson's Make It Wipe. Just kind of wrap it on my finger. It's gonna like softly wipe that away. Kind of make it a little bit wet. Um, and then leave it like that. <laughs> and then get your cotton bud and wipe it off. And then blend around it. And just get my foundation brush and blend over it. Especially when I'm filming, the height made that I fuck up. If I wasn't filming, I like never keep my scar on my nose. Now I'm gonna put some lipstick on. And today I'm doing for the All About That Pout Makeup Gallery Colour Moisture Lipstick in the colour 18 Black and Cherry. It looks like in the tub. And that's what it looks like on my hand. And I'll just get like the pointed edge first and just go along my put along the edge of my lips first. create an outline and then just fill in the rest of my rest of my lip and then just go around the edge of my lip again and then just kind of rub my lips together a little bit and then go on the edge of my top lip and just fill in my lip at the same time as going around the edge And that is my finished go-to makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions or anything or suggestions, then let me know in the comments below. And yeah, this, this is my go-to full face makeup look. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys soon for another video.